Now, earlier today, if you have been monitoring social media, you will have noticed that um, there is a lot of talk and conversations about a letter that has apparently been sent from Buckingham Palace to the Menshia Palace, indicating a clear invitation of the uh, uh, clear invitation by King Charles of England and uh, shall I say King Charles of the United Kingdom, England, uh, Wales, uh, Northern Ireland, and all its territories, including Australia and Canada. Uh, King Charles has extended what appears to be a very personal invitation to the Asante Hene Otunfo say to, to, to join the, uh, the funeral um, event of uh, his mother, the late Queen Elizabeth II, who passed a few weeks ago. The event is to take place on Monday the 19th. Now, social media has been awash with it. People have been celebrating that. Mm. Forgive me. Now, the conversations are that. What, how, how colonized can you be? That's what some people are saying. That a letter comes from Prince Charles to invite Asante Hine, and you are excited about it. And you're also talking about other chiefs who were not invited. That's so petty and so childish. Uh, the conversation is going on social media. I'm not going to weigh into that. I have here King Charles, who is... Uh, uh, now has a lot of responsibility. But you know, last week, Tuesday, we did something about uh, Queen Elizabeth, and we sort of pointed out the few things that occurred uh, during her reign within the African context. We ended, for instance, on Zimbabwe, that not uh, much applause will go to the Queen for the whole Lancaster Agreement and seizing the lands of the people of Zimbabwe. We also spoke about apartheid South Africa and what appeared to be Her Majesty's tacit support for an obnoxious policy that uh, killed many black people in South Africa. You've, you probably have seen um, the South African videos about how uh, outraged they are uh, for their president uh, uh, sending condolences to, to the queen. Some political leaders in South Africa are completely outraged. Now, somebody called me and said that there's something we left out, and it's, it's, it sounded very significant to me, that of all the things we say about the queen that's negative, have we thought about the malaria cure? And I said, what's about malaria cure? Then he said, well, if the uh, imperialists did not come to Ghana to find malaria and to be sick of malaria and then begin to think of solutions to malaria, we would probably never have had chloroquine and what we have today, all the medicines that come from Faisal, where there's no malaria and where Faisal does the medicine, the malaria is here. But because they came here, they saw the diseases and they were able to find solutions to our diseases and gave us longevity in our lives. I, I don't know how you see that, but those of you who look at it that way can also think of, uh, send us a text message and see. So the argument is that you can say all you, you like negatively about the imperialists and, and, and their bosses, including Queen Elizabeth, who has just passed to eternal glory. But you also have to give them the, uh, the applause for giving us medicine for our diseases, which was not their disease, it was our disease. They came to Africa, they saw the disease, and they went back to Europe, they picked up some of the herbs we've been using to cure malaria, they, they converted it into beautiful oral tablets that from the 1960s they brought it back and we can take. So those of us who were born after 1970, we really know of malaria and a tablet. Malaria and chloroquine, when we went to school, you have malaria, they say go and take chloroquine, later on they brought peritin because chloroquine can make some, some blood types, H and all of that. That was the work of the imperialist. True? False? You decide. So that's, that's a very important uh, intervention that somebody make, made. But uh, here is uh, King Charles. Uh, and here again is King Charles in this photograph uh, standing behind the mother's coffin. But tonight, uh, King Charles has sent a, an invitation uh, to the Asante Hine to attend the event. I'm going to read the invitation. But before then, it's been a while since uh, uh, we saw the Asante Hine because he's been out abroad for a while. So this is a tribute to Asante Hine. This is a beautiful song that was first used when I heard it on Joy FM's Front Page program. Uh, now, Front Page program was hosted by Kweku Sechado back in the day. It was a very famous program that we all listened to every Friday morning. And he got a rare occasion to interview the Asante Hine just before he was shown to the general public. And so he interviewed him during the period of uh, Asante Hine was, was in, as they say, in hiding. But the interview was played after he had been uh, uh, after the coronation in Kumase, and this was the song, uh, the theme song for that interview, and it's always stayed with me. So anytime we want to pay tribute to Asante Hine, this is the song that we use. Have a look. I'm 
to two asan baby my sentiment and I am our kwaba. That's what the song says. So this is the letter from the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, uh, Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, and um, it's, it's a protocol directorate of the Foreign Commonwealth Office. Let's see the details of what it says. It says, Protocol Directorate of the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, FCDO, presents its compliments to the High Commission of the Republic of Ghana, accredited to the Court of, of St. James's. Further to Protocol Directorate, note number 1874-22 of 8 September 2022, the Directorate has the honor to update diplomatic missions on arrangement and invitations for the state funeral of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II on Monday, the 19th of September, 2022, and associated events. Protocol Directorate, acting on behalf of the household of His Majesty the King, has, honor to, has the honor to have been instructed to issue personal invitations as set out in the following schedule. And it's as follows. His Majesty the King of Ashanti and spouse, stroke partner, they will be invited to the Lion in State of Queen Elizabeth. They have been invited to the Lion in State of Queen Elizabeth. They have been invited to His Majesty the King's reception, I believe, after the funeral. They have been invited to the state funeral service, and they have also been invited to the foreign secretary's reception. So these are the four events to which the Asante Hine, Utum 472, has been invited uh, by the household of the king, His Royal Majesty King Charles III. Asante Hine and his spouse, Lady Julia, will uh, view the body of Queen Elizabeth as she lay in state, uh, I believe at Westminster Hall. And then they will also be attending uh, the king's reception. I'm not sure where that's occurring. And the state funeral is at Westminster Abbey. And uh, the foreign secretary's reception, uh, I think that may be at the foreign and commonwealth office. I'm not sure where that is. So this is what has created all the constellations and conversations. On, uh, I think it's unnecessary for people to say some king was invited. One Ghanaian king represents all Ghanaian kings. I think so. Uh, so people are making all sorts of comparisons. And is that really necessary? I'm not sure it's necessary. But among kings, there are big kings and there are small kings. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot run away from that. There are big kings, there are small kings. Conquest determines how big somebody is and conquest also determines how small somebody is. So if you have a small state somewhere, in this, you know, very small state in the middle of the town, that's small. But if you have a federation uh, like the Asante, that's quite big. And there are other chiefs who have Yana and all those people, they have big, big things. And so some are small, some are big. And uh, that's how it's going to be for a long time to come. But the uh, Asante Hine is going there, not just as Asante Hine, but he's representing the cultural strength of the people of Ghana, the Gold Coast, and all of those things that the imperial people look at in terms of the, the strength and caliber of cultural Ghana. That's what Asante Hine is representing. Uh, so that's, that's all we can say about this. Let the conversations on social media go on nonetheless. But as far as we are concerned, we are wishing the Otunfo and Lady Julia well. Uh, as they represent the Asante nation and, and at large the Ghanaian nation at this uh, uh, important event, at this important global event. Many international visitors are going to be in London. Many high-profile visitors are going to be in London for this event, including the President of the United States of America, British Prime Minister, Australian Prime Minister, Canadian Prime Minister, and other heads of state among the African Union, some of the 52 heads of states from the African Union have also been invited. Or two for uh, sh uh, shedding, as they say, when people are attending funeral. Uh, stay well, Nana Santehini. And uh, here's the song again.